The Florida National Guard is the National Guard force of the U.S. state of Florida. It comprises the Florida Army National Guard and the Florida Air National Guard. The United States Constitution charges the National Guard with dual federal and state missions. Ordinarily under the control of the state government in which the governor is the commander in chief pursuant to title 32 of the United States Code National Guard troops may also be called into active federal service with the United States Army or the United States Air Force in which the president serves as commander in chief and deployed worldwide with their active duty army and air force counterparts the Florida National Guard, like those of other states, provides trained and equipped units for prompt mobilization in case of war or national emergency. Guardsmen may take part in functions ranging from limited actions in non-emergency situations to full-scale law enforcement martial law in cases when the governor determines that ordinary law enforcement officials can no longer maintain civil control. The state mission assigned to the National Guard is to provide trained and disciplined forces for domestic emergencies or as otherwise provided by state law." The Florida National Guard serves as the state's defense force. Florida currently has no state defense force The state defense force is a military entity described by the Florida statutes as a state-authorized militia prepared to assume the state mission of the Florida National Guard in the event that all of Florida's National Guard units are federally mobilized and authorized by executive order when the situation requires. If needed, the SDF would be recruited, trained, organized, equipped and deployed, under direction of the Adjutant General of Florida and the cadre of full-time state military officers within the Florida Department of Military Affairs at the department's Joint Training Center at Camp Blanding, Florida. It is unlikely that a SDF would be created in the near future. During World War II, the Florida State Guard served as the official state defense force of Florida, and was organized as a stateside replacement for the Florida National Guard and executed the stateside duties of the National Guard for the duration of the war. National coordination of various state National Guard units are maintained through the National Guard Bureau. Commanders <laughs> 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 Army units Headquarters, Florida Army National Guard, St. Francis Barracks 83rd Troop Command 320th Special Forces Group Camp Blanding Joint Training Center HHC, 320th SFG Support Company 153rd Finance Battalion Street. Augustine 1153rd Finance Debt 2153rd Finance Detachment 3153rd Finance Debt 111th Aviation Regiment Jacksonville Cecil Field 1 to 111 THAVNREGT2 to 111 TH Aviation Regiment AOB 171st Aviation Regiment Co B 1st Battalion Brooksville Brooksville Tampa Bay Regional Airport 417th Signal Battalion Composite HHD 144th Transportation Company Mariana 708th General Support Maintenance Quincy 653rd Range Extension Company Crestview 53rd Infantry Brigade Combat Team 1 to 124th Infantry South Florida 2 to 124th Infantry Central Florida 1 to 153 Road Cavalry RSTA Panhandle of Florida 2 to 116th Field Artillery 164th Air Defense Artillery Brigade 1 to 265 TH Ada 3 to 254th Transportation Battalion HHD 254th 1218th Transportation Company 806th Military Police Company IR 715th Military Police Company CS 690th Military Police Company I R 3 to 116 th field artillery FSC 3 to 116 th 50th area support group 927th combat service support battalion 32d army air and missile defense debt 1211th infantry regiment regional training institute that offers the state OCS program 260th military intelligence battalion 13th army band 146th expeditionary signal battalion 
<laughs> Air Force units Headquarters, Florida Air National Guard, St. Francis Barracks 125th Fighter Wing 125 FW Jacksonville Air National Guard Base and 125 FW Det 1 Homestead ARB 159th Fighter Squadron 159 FS 601st Air and Space Operations Center 601 AOC Tyndall AFB 325th Fighter Wing Associate Unit 325 FWO Tyndall AFB 202D Red Horse Squadron 202 RH Camp Blanding 290th Joint Communications Support Squadron 290 JCSS McDill AFB 114th Space Control Squadron 114 SPCS Patrick AFB and Cape Canaveral AFS 131st Training Flight 131 TF Camp Blanding 159th Weather Flight 159 WF Camp Blanding Topic Duties National Guard units can be mobilized at any time by presidential order to supplement regular armed forces, and upon declaration of a state of emergency by the governor of the state in which they serve. Unlike Army Reserve and Air Force Reserve members, National Guard members cannot be mobilized individually except through voluntary transfers and temporary duty assignments TDA, but only as part of their respective units. However, since September 11, 2001 there have been a significant number of individual activations under Title 10 U.S.C. to support military operations 2001 -present. .The legality of this policy has been a major issue within the National Guard. <laughs> <laughs> Active duty call-ups For much of the final decades of the 20th century, National Guard personnel typically served, "...one weekend a month, two weeks a year", with a portion working for the Guard in a full-time capacity as either Active Guard and Reserve Army Reserve Technicians or Air Reserve Technicians This changed dramatically during the 1990–91 Gulf War, and continued on to present day, with both the Federal Reserve components and the National Guard increasingly utilized as an "...operational." force for worldwide deployment. The current forces formation plans of the U.S. Army call for the typical Army National Guard unit or Army National Guardsmen to serve one year of active duty for every three years of service. The U.S. Air Force applies a similar utilization model for Air National Guard units and Air National Guardsmen. More specifically, previous Department of Defense policy was that no National Guardsman would be involuntarily activated for a total of more than 24 months cumulative in one six-year period. This policy has changed 1 August 2007, with the new policy stating that National Guard soldiers and airmen will be given 24 months between deployments of no more than 24 months. Individual states have differing policies but remain subordinate to DoD policy. As of July 2007, the Florida National Guard was composed of approximately 9,600 soldiers and airmen. See also Florida Army National Guard Florida Air National Guard Florida Naval Militia Militia State Defense Forces <laughs>